All right, what's up with this, y'all? You see what it is? Your boy Rock back with another video. Man, so I did want to go live because I want to be able to sit and, and chop it up with Chop Squad. I see y'all in the comment section. Some of them people in the comment section, wow. And the brother polite supporters in the comment section asking me, you scared now? You going to take your videos now? You can go look. My video's still up. They going to stay up. They ain't getting taken down. Now, granted, I will say, Brother Polite has been going through the internet. I guess this one brother, he got his uh, channel, he got a copyright strike on his channel. Uh, I guess he is supposedly going after people. Listen, Brother Polite, you got more to worry about than what, who up on the internet talking about you. You got four new felonies. Now, granted, I will say, and no, this is all alleged. This is all alleged. And that's the part you was able to go get them other YouTubers because they knew the YouTube. They don't know, they don't know how the YouTube streets work. Now. You can use any picture you want. You can use people like this, especially if it's public knowledge. But so, like I said, the uh, the the two felony charges did, did get dropped, and those I think it started out at like thirty years. Like if he got charged with them, or not charged, um, if he was really indicted on those, yeah, he those were a lot of years. Those two, I think there was like thirty a piece minimum, and we talking life sentence. But you got allegedly. Four new felonies, and this is alleged, but at the same time, it's public It's public knowledge. You know, he coming around here saying that people are lying on him. How are we lying if we go to the Dade County criminal justice system, online justice system, Michael Noak Jr., and it says here, so these are the two that got dropped off, but you got four new felonies, and it's all L and L, M O L, child. 12 to 16. L and L, M O L, child, 12 to 16. Child, 16, 16 by 18, and then delinquency of a minor. Allegedly. But, you know, Polite said we out here uh, lying on, so we gonna let him talk. And he said, let's get the popcorn out. So make sure y'all get y'all popcorn out. You came over to Rocket Chop channel. You definitely gonna need to pull some popcorn out. <laughs> because Brother Polite, he, he just does it to himself. It, it, it's crazy out here. First degree felony sexual assault charges have been dropped. Let's start it off with this conversation right here. Again, I won't be talking about the case specifically for all the right reasons. I have I'm gonna pause. Now, all the people that keep coming to my, my comment section that, that's really polite supporters, I just don't get it because He's th throughout this whole process. He's never came out and said the simple thing. I ain't even do this. Let somebody pull charges up like that on me, and it's all over there. And that first time, I, man, hold on, I ain't do that. He didn't do it because he didn't say that because allegedly he did it. But I ain't gonna speak for him. Let him talk for himself, and then we gonna see if uh, he still got the popcorn out. Legal counsel, they're gonna do what they gotta do. What we all going to talk about is cyber defamation litigation. We all going to have a conversation about that. We all going to have a conversation about cyber defamation <coughs> litigation. We all going to do that. And the reason why we're going to do this is because there's a lot of dishonest, wicked people out there. I've never seen nothing like this where people literally prey on someone's demise. So I say it again. Both first degree felony sexual assault charges have been eradicated. They're gone. Does this mean that there's no other fight? No, there's plenty of fight. They came up with new counts. Of course, nothing compared to those first degree felonies, that, which is crazy. Could I give you life or 30 years in prison so, early? You dig what I'm saying? So, yes. We will be turning up later on the strength. We will be turning up later on the strength. Wait a minute. So you about to go turn up? Because you're not getting charged with those first two felonies, but you got four more <laughs> new felonies. Man, you can't make this. What are you turning up about? This is what I'm talking about. He worried about all the wrong stuff. He worried about going after YouTubers that's talking about him. And all your stuff, public knowledge, obviously, obviously is public knowledge is... All on the internet. You just go to their website. Case information. I shouldn't be able to pull this up 
if you ain't did nothing. <laughs> I, I, I don't get it. But I'm going to let him keep talking. You know what I'm saying? Because this is all alleged. Is there still a fight? There's still a fight. But it's very interesting because a lot of people spoke out of turn, jumped out the window, accused me of things that not even the prosecution can. Hold on. The prosecution didn't accuse you for it because they just took them out and gave you four more new different felonies you got to fight. I, that's still not a good look, brother. If the things that people say on YouTube was accurate, I mean, goddamn, you wouldn't even see me here today. <clears throat> you wouldn't see me here today. So how the hell do these people on the Internet know so much? But the legal system don't. The shit that people be saying, oh, no, nah, you got to pay for that. Now I was going to wait <clears throat> until later down the line. You should have waited. You should because he's sitting around celebrating. Y'all see the arrogance? Watch when I play this next video. That arrogance is going to get snatched out right from under his legs. But God damn it. Since these joints is gone, yes. why not get the ball rolling now? Cyber defamation litigation. We're going to deal with that too. We're talking about suing people, not only for defamation, but also for libel. If you're even writing comments online, lying, blatantly lying on my name, yeah, we're coming for you. You think it's a joke, but this is some serious shit. If you're collecting money off of your videos while misrepresenting what's transpiring in the case, if you're lying on your videos, if you call me out my character, like literally saying I am somebody in particular, I've done something in particular. If you're lying and saying, yeah, I had a previous case before. If you're lying and saying, oh, that's brother polite statements. I never made a statement. No statements are mine. I never made a statement to no. You're making statements right now, sir. Number one. And number two, especially that's the reason why my videos are still up, y'all. Because I ain't been lying. And then even if it, if it was opinionated it's always a legend i mean everybody can have their opinion out here what what killed me is people like him act like can't nobody talk about him you're a public figure sir they can talk about you i do something people could talk about me i make my bed i'm gonna have to land that thing so guess what you made your bed you land in it right now and them fleas is biting nobody nobody on planet earth has a statement from me so if you're lying on the internet saying oh polite made a statement and said he was going here and he was doing if you're using my two-year-old's face on your video, if you're using my 15-year-old's face on your video, if you're messaging them directly, all that shit is crazy. I, I, I agree with that. I'm not doing it. I ain't messaging your daughters. Or I ain't even messaging your wives or none of that. I ain't doing none of that. I ain't messaging you. Ain't no point. <laughs> ain't no point. You ain't about to get nobody what they want because uh, you gonna for sure want some type of money. You're going to want something from it. Let's keep going. All of that is crazy. If you want to believe I did something, fine. You got, you're entitled to your belief. But to lie and tell people I did something is two different things. So again, the two worst charges have been reduced. The narrative, that means the narrative has to change. The Negroes like DNA don't lie. But what they forget to tell you is people do. <clears throat> I told you guys, get your popcorn, right? Boy, he said, hey, he said get the popcorn, right? You see the air. Boy, look, look, get, get your popcorn out. All right, y'all, get your popcorn out. Because shout out to Tasha K. I got this video for Tasha K. I didn't even know this part of the, the hearing was public. But I guess since it's on a Zoom meeting or whatever it looked like, it's public. But we're going to play this real quick. Listen, I want to see if he still got the popcorn out. I think he woke up this morning and his lawyer right here. Explain to him what them four new charges was. And it don't look like he got the popcorn out. Do you swear from the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? <laughs> yes. Okay, so you can put your arm down. Can you tell me your full name and your date of birth? Michael Eugene Nope Jr. Born August 10th, 1983. All right, thank you, sir. All right, so you are currently charged under case F21-144- Four, one four four three eight, um, with several counts involving a minor victim. 
uh, and the minor victim is identified as T, like Thomas, S, like Sam. Do you know who that is? Yes. All right. You know, sir, you are ordered that you can have no contact with TS. And when I say no contact, that means no direct contact or indirect contact. Indirect contact includes you cannot uh, communicate with this individual via social media. You cannot call. You cannot text. You cannot reach out to this individual or in some way uh, attempt to communicate through a third person. Do you understand that, sir? Yes, I do. All right, now. Where is the popcorn at? Where's the arrogance? <laughs> it don't look, you don't look like you about to win. This don't look like what you went and turned up tonight for that night. Huh? You still got work. You worried about other people talking about you. You need to worry about your counsel and clearing your name in the legal system. You worry about clearing your name on these YouTube streets. Now, um, I will just advise you and admonish you. This means what it says. I do not know whether or not you were given any type of a stay away order. But as of right now, this stay away order is in effect in that if you violate any terms of this stay away order, that may be grounds for your bond status, your pretrial release status to be revoked, and you will be immediately taken into custody. Do you understand that, sir? Yes, I do. Okay. Anything further on that issue from the state? No, Your Honor. Anything further from that issue from the defense? No, Your Honor. All right. Court is now in session. Show sure is. <laughs> I'm just saying. So look, so for all the people that keep coming in my comment section saying, is you scared? What? I think he got more to be scared about. When he was sitting there, he wasn't looking like this. Wasn't no popcorn out. None of that. None of that. Look, listen. It is what it is. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. First degree felony sexual assault charges have been dropped. Let's start it off with this conversation right here. And you got four more added on. Allegedly. Now, listen, I told y'all he be going after other people. Some of y'all YouTubers, man, y'all need to uh, know what y'all doing when y'all using other people's content. I'll just give y'all a little snippet of the game. You notice how I use this video? You make sure you make it smaller than 30% of the screen. Once it becomes smaller than 30% of the screen, that actually becomes your your content you know what i'm saying because i'm just reacting to it i'm just talking about it i'm giving my opinions on it and that's what's wrong with people nowadays they don't realize is that you can actually go and give your opinion on stuff especially when it's public knowledge and when it's all on public when you go to the to the uh, my, miami court system you can just type it in it, it, it don't make it that hard you know what i'm saying but for all the people all the people that come in my comment sections with that cape with a superman cape on for brother polite he still got delinquency of a minor and he still got a whole bunch of charges dealing with a minor. And that, that's just what it is. You know, he got two dropped and four more felonies added on. So y'all y'all, y'all talk about that in the comment section. Since y'all saying I'm scared, I'm supposed to take my video down. They still up. Y'all keep believing what this liar keep talking about. He, been, he talking about people lying. He been lying for years, conning people for years. And like I said, I could go for a whole month making videos just breaking that down. But I'm not about to do that. I'm not about to give this dude that much energy. I wasn't even gonna make this video. But the amount of people that I had coming back after he made that video the other day, talk about we about to have this conversation, this right here. Both first degree felony sexual assault charges have been dropped. Let's start it off with this conversation right here. And that's where we started it. And the judge finished it. You better stay away from that little, whoever TS is, you better stay away from her. You better stay away. Man, it's been your boy, Rock, man. I ain't gonna keep going, man. Listen, the proof's, the proof's all in the pudding. He got more to worry about than worrying about all these YouTube. That 100K you set to the side, you better put that to the side for a rainy day. You might need that later on. Don't try to use that to try to get on other people. I don't think it's, it's not looking... Hey, what that one dude in my comment section came and said, it's not looking good for you, my boy. Just saying. I'm just saying. Catch y'all on the next video. It's been your boy, Chop.